Welcome to Module 4, Searching with PubMed's Clinical Queries. This is one of a series of instructional videos created for evidence-based practice in healthcare. Evidence-based practice is supported by the librarians at the Kellogg Health Sciences Library. If you need assistance with your literature searching, you can contact the Kellogg Library at kellogg.library at dal.ca. Let's start by discussing what Clinical Queries is and how to access it. Clinical Queries is a search feature found in PubMed where you can search using predefined filters to find results that match your question type and desired scope. Clinical Queries also has a helpful filter for clinical studies, as well as a filter to limit results to COVID-19 related results. You can access Clinical Queries from PubMed's home screen under Find. For our search, let's start with the PICO question we showed you in the previous modules concerning adult females with chronic low back pain. As a reminder, the population is adult females with chronic low back pain. The intervention is tramadol with acetaminophen taken orally twice daily. The comparison is a placebo and the outcome is a reduction in pain scale scores. To run this search in clinical queries, we can simply enter keywords. Here I am searching low back pain, tramadol and acetaminophen. I'm not using any Boolean operators between terms, and PubMed will interpret these as AND by default. Now I click search and my results appear on the same screen under the search bar. These results will change depending on which filter I select. For this search topic, it is ideal for us to use the therapy filter because we are exploring a therapeutic intervention for our condition, low back pain. However, it is important to note that for other questions, clinical study filter options are available for clinical prediction guides, diagnostic accuracy studies, etiology or cause, which will also include papers to address risk and harm questions, and prognosis, which will retrieve cohort studies examining the natural course of disease. I am going to select narrow from the drop-down menu under scope because I only want papers that are highly related to this topic, but I could choose to leave the scope set to broad if I wanted to see what else PubMed retrieved. After adjusting the scope to narrow, our result numbers have decreased. I can choose interesting papers from the most recent five results shown on the clinical queries page, or I can click see all results in PubMed to be taken to the full list of papers on PubMed's main search results page. Viewing results on PubMed's main search results page allows access to all PubMed filters, including the one for systematic reviews, which was recently removed from the clinical queries page. Within clinical queries, I can choose to select different filters for my search query and adjust the scope accordingly. If I select COVID-19 under filter category, a new list of filters will come up related to COVID-19 and I can try my search with these filters to see if relevant results are returned. Our search topic is not related to COVID-19, so it makes sense that when we use these keywords and click search while keeping the COVID-19 filter selected, we retrieve zero results. Therefore, with clinical queries, it's important to try different filters and adjust the scope with your search query, but remember that not all filters will be appropriate for your topic. In Module 5, you will learn how to search using the Cochrane Library. If you would like to learn more about searching in support of evidence-based practice, you can check out our other videos in the description below. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.